Hello everyone, this is Elad. This is Paul. And we are from Robot Lab. And today we have uh, pretty exciting news for you. We have the brand new Now V6, as you can see here. Um, and the first thing that you notice about this uh, robot is the color. Uh, it comes in a new color, dark gray, uh, shiny dark gray, uh, more like metallic gray or metallic gray, like carbon, carbon fiber. Carbon maybe? fiber, yeah, like futuristic uh, color, which is really, really um, nice and, and you know set it apart from the different uh, uh, different nows in the past. We have three three, the light gray over there, um, the blue one over here is V4, uh, V5, the red one, and obviously uh, our brand new color here um, is this new dark gray. And that's the only color. Uh, if you remember in the past, it had, uh, every version had two colors. Uh, V6 comes with only one color. Um, not only that, the logo's changed right here, so it's oh, now yeah. in, the, in the center. Yeah, so no more the logo, the old the Nebron logo, now it's all Softbank Robotics, so now is the is the name. And I have to tell you, Paul, the first thing, I'm working on that for uh, like a day now, and the first thing I notice, it's blazing fast, it's super, super fast. How much faster is it? Um, so start from boot time, boot time is like uh, less than a minute. Like my iPhone takes longer. <laughs> That's pretty um, fast. Um, yeah, um, and um, it's not just that. Everything feels like lighter and more agile. The Wi-Fi is faster. Uh, downloading all the apps in the basic channel uh, was like just boom, takes boom, it boom, right away. Yeah, um, the Wi-Fi is actually ten times faster. And not only that, it supports um, the uh, WPA Enterprise, WPA2 uh, Enterprise, uh, which was not supported on the previous versions. Uh, People have asked about that. Yeah, so that's yeah a good there are many schools that uh, can't uh, connect to the school network because it's not secure enough. Uh, and here we go. Now, now it's there. Um, but it's not just the Wi-Fi and the you know the overall CPU uh, speed. Uh, the, the the hard drive that. Um, is used in the robot is actually faster as well. Uh, so in the previous version, uh, in the V4 and V5, we used the SD card uh, as as the memory card. This is the hard drive for the for the robot. Um, in the new uh, Now 6, uh, which is called the Now Power 6. Um, so in the new Now 6 uh, version, we have SSD card, which is 35 times faster. And, oh. and, and you feel it when you load the application, you click run, boom, it's, it's running. It's pretty quick. Um, I also tested uh, one of my uh, lunch cookies uh, earlier. Uh, I taught the robot, you know, to identify the visual recognition thing, and boom, it's just like, you know, it identifies it immediately. So yeah. that probably means the camera's better too, then. The camera is also better, that's right. Uh, the camera uh, was moved from 1.3 uh, megapixel in the V5 to uh, 5 megapixel in the new one. And not only that, uh, there is a new mode, a uh, dual camera mode, uh, which means that we can use both cameras, the one uh, in the forehead and the one in the mouth, uh, simultaneously we can alternate between them. Um, so if there's a new mode here, we can actually flip that um, and use the second camera. Yeah, the second we, couldn't, camera. we couldn't use it before, uh, at least not reliable. Um, and talking about uh, reliability, um, I noticed something else that uh, was changed here. Uh, there is a new mechanism called LOLA, um, uh, introduced by uh, the developer at uh, Soft and Robotics, uh, which presumably um, gives more reliable information from the sensors. So if you rely on data from sensors to arrive uh, at a certain you know, rate or uh, you, know, uh, you know, some kind of uh, um, you know, data you need to send to the motors um, and you need to make sure that everything is synchronized. This process, this new uh, software makes sure that everything will be um, as expected. Uh, so that's a new thing. That's it's quite a lot of an upgrade. Yep. Yeah, that's, a, that's definitely an upgrade. Um, and talking about software, uh, there is a new Nauki. Uh, that comes with that. Um, there is now key 2.8, 2.8, um, and uh, we'll probably see a few iterations of 2.8, but uh, so 2.8, 1, 2, 3, and so on. Uh, but uh, now 2.8 is exclusive to V6, so it won't work on the V5. It won't work on the V5, V4s, and so on. Right. Um, it's exclusive to V6 because it uses much more computing power. That is not available on, on you know, the previous versions. Um, and I have to tell you, uh, one of the things that I'm impressed with is the semantic engine. Uh, so the semantic engine uh, is designed to uh, mimic as much as possible uh, the human-robot interaction, the way that we envision, the way that we see movies. Um, so uh, one of the things you can uh, talk to the robot, you can tell the robot, uh, you know, Paul likes uh, racing cars. 
Yeah. Um, and then you can ask the robot what Paul likes. And, and it'll remember that I like racing cars. It should remember that, that's oh. right. So we can teach the robot. You can also use all kinds of um, uh, if-else statements in a verbal way. So, for example, if you see this, then do that. So if, for example, um, you see me smiling, okay, then, you know, clap your hands. And I can just say that, and, it'll... and the robot will, will do that. Uh, because it understands what is a smile, what is human, what is clapping hands, and I can just use that as a voice command to the robot. That is what people have been kind of wanting the robot to do, so yeah. now it has yeah. that capability. That's yeah. really Which that's is, amazing. It's really powerful. And again, no code, no nothing. Just talk to the robot. Uh, so this is something really, really um, important. And uh, there is also a new choreograph. Uh, let me just uh, switch over here uh, to the uh, choreograph. So there is a new choreograph over here. And uh, if you're looking at that, it looks, uh, if you worked with the choreograph of Pepper, uh, it looks similar to that. So you can see like the, uh, a new tree of um, uh, behaviors and different commands, different boxes uh, that we used to have. They are now organized under a different uh, hierarchy over here. So for example, if I'm talking about vision, then you know, we can uh, select camera or take a picture and so on. And it's all uh, right over here um, on your left side. Uh, there is also one thing which uh, at least to me, was really, really um, missing from all this version. And you know how when you when you create a like a very complicated program, very quickly everything gets like it's, it's all jumbled, it's all over the place. So over here, if for example, um, you are dragging uh, my computer is under this video load, uh, but if you are dragging uh, basically uh, a box over here and you connect it, you can see uh, your uh, hierarchy over here. So Inside the timeline, like a regular timeline, I'll just put, you know, I'll just drag another box uh, over here. And what you can see here is that under each one of them, uh, we'll start seeing uh, the uh, hierarchy as I build that. Um, and as I connect the things, that they'll start uh, showing up here and uh, we can actually... So it adds it right on the get, side. That's right, get a tree view of our program. Uh, one of the... Um, uh, another uh, very impressive improvement is the level of understanding, especially for people like me with accent. Um, the robot uh, in this version, the now six, uh, supposed to understand better uh, people, up to nine times better, uh, um, including in loud environments, including you know accents and so on. Um, and this is something very very uh, powerful. Um, Speaking of that too, I think that you said the speakers are louder too. The speakers are louder too, yeah. The speakers are uh, roughly two times louder uh, than the previous version. Now, all these improvements in software and hardware are worthless without solid lesson plans. That's you know what we are all about here at Robot Lab. Uh, we want to make sure that these robots are useful in the hands of educators in the classroom. Um, so all our lesson plans on Engage K12, the online learning platform, uh, all the lesson plans that currently support V4 and V5 uh, are going to be transferred to or support uh, the now V6, the hardware and the software improvement, which means that uh, you'll have lessons uh, around uh, coding, uh, computer science, uh, around uh, math, uh, physics, uh, even literacy, reading, writing. Uh, all of them are going to uh, be available for uh, the customers who purchase the Engage K12 uh, learning platform uh, subscription as well. And this includes the uh, simulation tools and everything that you see, uh, everything that is available right now on Engage K12. Um, and one more thing important about uh, talking about licenses, about uh, Choreograph, um, that the new version of Choreograph, Choreograph 2.8, uh, doesn't need the, the license key anymore which means that uh, schools that uh, clone computers for students uh, won't have to deal with uh, license keys and expiration days and so on. Uh, the software installs the way it is and doesn't have any um, a license key or expiration date or anything like that. And um, if you already ordered your uh, robot and uh, you're waiting for that, so here it is, it's coming. Um, all the pending orders are, will, be, will be fulfilled in the upcoming weeks. Uh, as these robots are swimming slowly uh, towards the coming US. This way. Yeah, yep. coming our way. And um, we'll start shipping them uh, probably at the end of this month or early uh, next month, depends on when we get them in our warehouse. Uh, if you have any questions, if you need any uh, anything, uh, just email us at uh, info, info at robotlab.com. 
uh, we'll be more than happy to answer any question or whatever you need. Um, and we are here as always, um, Robert Love Team. Thank you guys. I hope that was informative. Have a good day. Bye.